Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Delta Nadal, 1095. Welcome to another Transformers Legacy video, and that is going to be the Leader Class Wave 2 Blitzwing. Now, right off the bat, I know there's a lot of complaints about this guy. Um, yes, I, I can agree with some of those, but at the end of the day, I still like it for what it is. So, if you don't, I'm sorry. It is what it is, and this is what we got from Hasbro. So, 32 steps to from robot to jet mode and 41 from robot to tank mode. I'm guessing that's including, you know, two jet mode to tank mode, whatever. Showing off the accessories, you got the QR code if you want to go ahead and scan that. So with that being said, some nice artwork of the jet mode and tank mode there. Of course the Decepticons there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way and focus on Blitzwing himself. He is packaged, of course, in tank mode here. As we've seen so far, the Legacy figures are being packed in a vehicle mode. So we've got Laser Prime in truck mode and trailer mode, and we've got Blitzwing here in tank mode. And he's got these two little missile pod accessory things that with these sections sticking off the side here, you've got a tab there, kind of a little section there. These will just peg in to the side like that. Tab that into there. It's not the best connection, but you got them with some added missile pods. They are blast effect compatible, unlike his turret, which doesn't make any sense why, you know, they pedal and pedal these blast effect capabilities and now they're not even using it. And of course he does have, you know, the uh, cock bit sticking out a little too far. But yeah, I, I honestly just wish they could have created a panel just to cover that up just a little bit. And still have a little bit sticking out, just like the original cartoon and toy. Even though the toy wanted you to do it like this, like the Titans Return. Like, I, I get it. There was a mistake in the toy making process, but here we go. Showing off side by side, he is a much wider tank, like, big, well, not much, but still a lot more mass to him. He does feel quite heavier compared to the Titan's Return. The only thing I really wish they would have changed as far as, like, one thing I would have loved to see done is, of course, instead of this weird brownish plastic for the wheel, or paint for the wheels and treads, is, of course, gunmetal gray. And then this kind of lavender instead of the dark purple. Like, if they would have gone with the lavender, I would have been much happier. Bring that up a little bit. And you can even get Cup to do the thing where he's trying to pull the cannon away from Hot Rod. So, you got that. As far as accessories, he did, well, the rest of his accessories does come with this sword, which is made out of a softer plastic. It's not quite rubberized, but it is definitely a softer material. You can plug that in up top here. He's got two of his signature rifle, which you can plug into the sides of the tank. There are ports on the front, middle, and back. So you got that going on. Or if you want, face up backwards. Or kind of like how the box art shows, you can have one up top there. Plug in the sword on the side. So, yeah. Tank mode looks, for the most part, pretty good. Like, if there's a panel to cover that just a little bit, I'd be a lot happier. And, of course, like I said, the lavender and gunmetal gray instead of what we got. And, of course, blast effect compatible. Like, maybe someone can make an adapter that can just plug into there and stick out. I don't know. But overall, doesn't look too bad. Turret does rotate 360 and, of course, goes up to there and to there. It does roll really nicely. Very loudly, too. So, going ahead and getting into transformation. It is fairly simple, although it's been a minute since I've done it, so it is going to be a little jumbled all over the place. We want to start with folding up the turret into there. So just open that panel, fold it back, close that up, 
bring it up and out of the way. Then from here, bring these out to the side like that and detach them from the side of the body. Now we're going to go tank, jet, robot, and then back, robot, jet, tank. So I'm not going to show all the combinations for transformation. What we do want to get this out of the way. So we open up the legs here, which surprisingly form the wings, not the actual little winglets that are on the tank treads. So we unfurl that. Bring up this, unfurl the whole leg assembly, just plug those back, bring that back up, tap it all in, flip this section forward, actually before we do that, bring the sole section out, and that will just collapse along the side here, and we do want to collapse this on a double hinge up like that, that way that tab can go in, that tab can go into that slot, just like that, of course it helps if we tab the arm into the body. become a jumbled mess. Okay, bring this. Ugh, that is scary time. Might shave a little bit of that. Just a tiny bit. But the, that tab there is supposed to go into that slot. It's not Morning. There we go. Okay. So double hinge, and that will tab into there like that. We'll keep that folded up. All right. So here, tab that in there. Make sure that's all tabbed together. Bring those forward. Okay, in the forearm into the treads. Then from here, I want to open this section here and bring out the nose. Close that up. Make sure everything is all lined up. And down here, we've got our landing gear, which we just want to I have to grab my tweezers here. Just bring that out. I have the turret facing forward, just like the original. And there we have Blitzwing in his jet mode. It's kind of a jumble mess, like I said, getting into the transformation. But given, even though he's got, you know, this entire half a tank mode strapped to the bottom, I still think. It's a neat looking jet. Uh, you know, just ignoring that best you can. You can also take these. I didn't pay attention to the directions on this, so I might come back when I figure out. No. Yeah, I'll have to look at the instructions for that. But for the rest of the weapon storage, you can take the rifles, plug them into the side here. Just like that. Have them working as, you know, kind of like the missiles on the G1 toy. Oh. Here we go. This wing just does not want to stay together like the left side does. It's just off so ever so slightly. Because that looks better. 
And then for the sword, I guess you can just store it underneath or that's, yeah, that's really the only spot. So you got that. So let me look at the instructions real fast. All right, so for the thrusters, you just take these kind of whole can things out and just plug them into the back like that. Out and in the back. Then there's these five millimeter pegs here that will... Okay, so this is not wanting... Those are supposed to tab into there. Okay, so you got that going on. And then what you need to do are is flip down part of the feet here. Then plug this one into maybe I've got no. Hang on. So you want them sideways like this. So plug this one in like that then this one in like that and these become kind of pseudo thrusters for this it it's stupid like it's really really stupid i i get it it's just to fill up the price point but you could have used the budget from this to either make them just a little bit taller or, you know, give them that proper lavender color. I mean, look at how nice of a purple the uh, Takara Legends Titans Return version is. And just how well, I mean, yeah, you still see the treads and everything, but it's not a tank strapped to the bottom of a jet. I mean, yeah, there's the turret, but that's really it. There's more jet here than there is tank. I, I don't know. I don't know what Hasbro was thinking. Like, yeah, I'm still glad I got it, but it's still very disappointing that this is what we ended up with. It's just kind of a lump that sits there. Anyways, let's go on to better things and get into the robot mode. Because the robot mode is where this figure truly shines. So go ahead and take off those weapons. And then from here... Pretty much got the back situated, so we want to untab the wings from the bottom, straighten this all out. We already got the heels out. We actually want to bring these side sections back up to there, tab that back in, up, back in, so from here, flip out the hand. Bring that panel back, rotate it, and that panel will rotate up and around just like that to cover up the gap in the forearm. I wish there was a stopping point or, you know, just like an indent or something to where it stays there because it just kind of wiggles. And that's kind of stupid. <laughs> there, there's a lot of stupid decisions and that's all... Anyways, sorry, my camera freaked out. Anyways, there's a lot of stupid decisions. It's all you can really say to sum up the decisions made with this character, with this figure. Anyways, straighten out those arms. Get them out of the way. Open up this chest panel. And this panel will open up. Just close the cock or the nose cone back into there. Close that up. Then bring the head around, close up the chest piece, and then this, if you close up the landing gear, will all rotate up. And this just goes over the chest plate like that. Well, it is the chest plate. And then from here, straighten out the legs until they click into place. Hold this down, down. Let's go ahead and split the legs here. We'll just close these panels 
around and that will tab right into there. And my camera went wonky again. What the heck? There we go. And then here, close up the panel, bring up the toes, and then close this panel into there, tabbing into the foot. All right, then from here, let's go ahead and raise this camera up. Whoa. There we go. Let's fold this back. So then these little faux wings will fold out. And there we have Transformers Legacy Blitzwing in robot mode. And he looks really good. He looks fantastic in robot mode. Like, again, my only main gripe with the color scheme, at least here in robot mode, is the dark purple. Though, it does look kind of good here. So, in, in tank and jet mode, I would love the, the lavender. In robot mode, it would look great. Give him his sword and one of his rifles. He does look really good. You can just store this extra one pointing down on his back. So let me grab the other Blitzwing, get him in robot mode, and then we'll compare with him and Astro Train. All right, so bringing in the Legend, Takara Legends. Yeah, you can see a lot of people's main problem with this and that a Voyager is bigger than the leader class. Now, again, it's kind of hard to tell, but this one does feel heavier. But then you also have to factor in these stupid things, which again, could have gone to making him just a little bit taller or some better paint apps, better, just probably better taller figure, which would probably fix the vehicle modes. But again, I think the lavender on this would look fantastic. And of course, you know, painting the sides here of this head purple to match with these sections here that were on the G1 toy as well, which I think on the G1 toy they were tan. I can't remember if they were purple or tan. But, I mean, overall, I mean, they both look really good. They both serve different purposes. If, you know, if you consider this your, you know, definitive Blitzwing, all power to you. I mean, it's still a great figure. It still holds it for the most part other than the Headmaster gimmick, but, you know, I mean, this one, like I said, I still really like it. It fits my shelf. I mean, they both kind of fit, have their place on my shelf. You can even have, you know, the cannon sticking up. Although on this one, I think it sticks up a little bit too far. Like if it was somewhere kind of like that, it'd be perfect. But even in its proper stock configuration, I think it works fine. So there he is, and here is Astro Train with the snowshoes. So let me take the platform shoes off of here to get a more proper scale comparison. And he is just a little bit bigger than Astro Train, which was another leader class. It was actually a Voyager with some added stuff. And even then, this. Blitzwing's got a little bit more heft to him, a little bit more mass. But, yeah, at the end of the day, I, again, I still like it. Now, as far as those stupid hand accessories, pretty much take them as they are. There is a 5mm port in there. You just pop that into his hand. Now... I guess, it, hang on a second. Okay, so it's, I hate you having to look at the instructions because even the instructions, so they want you to fold the hands like that. And then much like with jet mode, you want to come in at the side and peg it into the bottom of the hand. So you're not even using this as the, the top of the arm. It is the side of the arm. Do that same thing with the other side. And then you've got this whole, you know, wannabe Armada Demolisher thing going on. I mean, it's kind of stupid, but I can see where the playability is for kids. But come on, Hasbro. 
you know you're aiming for adults and yeah it does have a cut out for the the panel there so getting from that into articulation we'll go through that then get back to vehicle modes so head is as you can see on a ball joint and it is very nicely painted the whole head is painted yellow we get the silver faceplate Beautiful red visor and head crest. Some nice silver, red, and yellow there on the chest as well. And uh, there, I guess there's a little bit of green in the crevices, but yellow still looks pretty good. You got the silver waistline here. Got the, I guess, grill detail on the hips. Uh, lifting up the skirts, you do get some nice molded in detail in silver. Of course, the silver on the fins. And gunmetal gray and purple. Everything else is pretty much molded in purple or tan. So again, head, ball joint, rotate 360. Get a little bit of side to side, up and down, all the way out at the shoulders. You get once you move this panel up, yeah, not quite 90 degrees, and nothing back. So the shoulders are very limited. I really wish this whole pauldron moved instead of just, you know, that. <laughs> so that is very disappointing. You do get a bicep swivel. It's the tiniest bit more than 90 at the elbow. Uh, wrist do swivel. They move a little bit in and out due to the transformation. You do get 360 at the waist. Get forward. A little bit back at the hips, almost all the way out at, or outward at the hips. Get a thigh swivel, little, well, more than 90 at the knee. That's actually pretty good. And ankles all the way down, nothing up and down at the foot. So yeah, articulation is fairly good except for in the shoulders. Like personally, like I said, I do like the figure. Like, I know it has its haters, and, you know, it, you're entitled to your opinion. I just, I really don't care. I enjoy it for what it is. Yeah, it feels like it's a bit too much for what you're getting. Yeah, it feels like you're paying too much for what you're getting, but at the end of the day, personally, I'm still happy with it. Would I prefer it being at a Voyager price point? Yes. Am I glad we're getting a new Blitzwing? Anyways, also yes. So, I don't know what else to say. So, let's go ahead and get them in, back into jet mode and then tank mode. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll show it how to get it back into jet mode. I don't really like the jet mode, but I'll show it anyways. So, bring this out and up. Bend it back, open that up, flip the head around, close it up, open that, bring out the nose cone, close that up, bring this around, just like that, flip in the fist, bring this out. I just got this fly that's flying around my face. It won't leave me alone. But that's besides the point. Bring this all around to there. Bring that out. Okay. Then from here, bring out the wing. And then we'll untab this, bring it up and back. Open that up, close the feet up to form the thrusters. Same thing on this side, open up, collapse. Open that, close the feet up. And this just all tabs back together. Okay, flip the panels up. All right, 
Then from here, make sure everything's straightened up. Bring the arms down until they tap into the side there. I feel like there should be a tab for the arms plug in there, but there's not. Let's bring that up. Tap it all in. Just like that. Flaps this back. Into there. Close up those. Just tab everything back together. Fold that up. And there we've got Blitzwing back in jet mode, except for flipping out the landing gear. So there's that. And then to go back to tank mode, flip open the nose cone, flip that in, close that up. Then from here, bring, actually untab this, bring the arms up and to there, tab that into place. Just like going back to robot mode. And then, actually we don't even need to untab that. Split those apart and then just curl the wings back around the legs. Tap them back in. Here we want to flip these sections up and out of the way. Clasp the tank back together. Then there's a double hinge on the tread, so you want to undo that on both sides. A tab, slot, slot, tab. In, in. Undo the wing, and fold that in, and we'll just tap into place there. Tap that down, get in this side, slot and tab, slot and tab, bring that around, and there we go. Then from here, I'll just open up this panel, flip the cannon down, and around. And there we have Blitzwing in tank mode again. So, I don't know. This figure's dumbed up a lot of controversy among fans, and, you know, I'm more the one that's a little bit more open, but I do quite understand some of the ire that this figure is getting. Like, I don't like the fact that this sticks out too far. I wish there was a way to maybe slide it back, or that they included like an extra flip out panel to cover up some. Uh, personally, I would have also loved if they did the translucent blue plastic instead of the red. And of course, the lavender. And of course, you know, fixing the tank or the jet mode to where there wasn't so much of the tank hanging off of it. Like, I understand that completely. And then the inclusion of these stupid accessories. Like, these are doing nothing except for going into a storage bin. Whereas, you know, these are good, except for, you know, the rubberized plastic. Or not quite rubberized, but the softer material. I mean, like, I, I'm going to come out and say it. I like it. I enjoy it for what it is. Could it be better? Absolutely. Do I hate the figure? No. Like, I'm, I'm right in the middle. It's a great update. It's slightly better in some ways than this. Whereas this still has, you know, things I like better than this. So, it, it's like any other of the generation figures. There's aspects that are better, aspects that are worse. But at the end of the day, I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think of this Legacy Blitzwing. Like, do you love it? Do you hate it? You know, what things would you have changed to make this particular figure better? 
yes, I would have paid like an in between poison. Bring back Ultra Class, you know. Voyagers, $33. Leaders, $50. If this was a $40 Voyager with the added accessories, I would have been happy. Like, it's an in between. I would have been happier with that. Like, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, be sure to check out all the other legacy videos that I've done, that I am doing. Check out, yeah, just check out the channel. Let me know what you think of Blitzwing, like I said. And check out all the other links that are down in the description. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quite lengthy, controversial video. And I'll see you guys next time.